Odd animal specimens, here's something new. Behold! It's so big! Let's get a closer view. Hello, big boy. Those wings are so big! Hey, what is this? This is a giant insect, and we're gonna use giant insects to answer a, a peculiar question. What's up, Jessica? One sec, someone just came in. How do insects breathe? With their mouths. No. With their wings! No. With their... Butts. No. All right, check this out. So this is our insect under the microscope. We're looking at the back half of it. I'm gonna zoom in really close. We're gonna get focus on it. Now, do you see in the center that super tiny little hole that's the size of like a pinprick? That, my friends, is a spiracle. Spiracle. Oh my. I don't know what that means. A spiracle is basically a trachea. It's like a breathing hole. It's one of these. <sighs> okay, now watch this. I'm gonna widen out a little. We're gonna focus again. Now check it out. There are a bunch of other holes that line the side of this insect, just like the other one. This is how insects breathe. They have holes along the sides of their bodies called spiracles. Spiracle. And air passively enters these holes and it's delivered to their muscles and organs. So insects basically have a bunch of throats on the sides of their bodies that they use to breathe. Hello, big boy. <sighs> It's kind of like having a bunch of throats on the sides of your rib cage. A very interesting trait of a very interesting animal, a giant brown cricket.